Could a monster earthquake sink a portion of Northern California? A new study addresses that very question and whether we could see impacts here at home. Meteorologist Brianna Ruffalo joins us in studio with some answers. Brianna. Yeah, well, when you see that study, it can look pretty alarming. So I spoke with Dr. Lucy Jones, and she said this possibility has actually been known for a few decades. Now, this new study calculates the risk of where and how much land could sink. But the bigger concern is not a monster quake for the Pacific Northwest. It's actually closer to home. The Cascadia fault line is the focus of a new study, breaking down the flooding potential a 9.0 earthquake could bring to the Pacific Northwest and the Northern California coastline. It's a fault about 700 miles long, running from Northern California all the way up to Vancouver, British Columbia, capable of producing a massive quake, which was last seen in 1700. Dr. Lucy Jones says while we would still see damage for coastal areas, this fault line is offshore, so the heaviest shaking would be underwater. So basically all of the coast of Northern California, Oregon, and Washington will be like the San Fernando Valley and the Northridge earthquake. And we, had, you know, we had... 10 miles and this is going to be 700 miles or something like that. So it's going to be a much larger area that is hit by the shaking. The study conducted by Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences provides calculations of possible scenarios where coastal areas could sink by several feet. I think the other aspect that's sort of the newsworthy thinking about it is what does it mean in a time of sea level rise? And uh, it's another compelling reason to really do something about climate change. But Dr. Lucy Jones says the possibility of this monster earthquake actually isn't the worst case scenario. The most damaging earthquake I can think about was actually not even on the San Andreas. It would be a magnitude seven and a half under Los Angeles. Because the thing in, in the West Coast where we have relatively young rocks compared to the East Coast, and they're softer then. So where exactly are the most concerning areas? Dr. Jones lists the faults capable of a seven as the Newport Inglewood Fault, Hollywood, Santa Monica, Whittier, and Puente Hills. She says there are about 100 faults under LA, but the worst model output is the Puente Hills Thrust, a fault that runs right under downtown Los Angeles. Uh, it's bad luck if you happen to hit the, the, the century that we have the magnitude nine, but those sevens in Los Angeles are, are more deadly. And of course, there's no way to know when we could see any of these scenarios. But the moral here isn't to worry when these studies are released as much as we want to. Uh, Dr. Jones added it's possible we don't even see the Cascadia Fault 9.0 in our lifetime. But it's important to understand the impacts of rising sea levels and how this could create double the impact.